the first function is the entry page. If I type in wiki slash CSS, it will go to the CSS entry. It will display the content. And if, if I type some other entry names, it will show page not found because I don't have that entry in my the database. The next function is the index page. So when I go to the local host 8000, it will show a list of entries. And if I click one of them, it will direct me to the uh, specific encyclopedia page. Okay, and then the next one is the search. I can type in a, a query into the search box in the sidebar to search for an entry. For example, if I type in JavaScript, enter, it will redirect me to bad, to, to the encyclopedia entry if the query matches the name of the entry name. Um, if it is a substring, if I type T, it will show the the all the encyclopedia entries that have the end that have the query as a substring, and I can click on any one of them. It will redirect me to the the entry page. The next function is the create new page. Um, when I click on create new page in the sidebar, um, I will be taken to a page and then I can type in the title and then the content in the text area. Um, and then I can click a button to save the new page. When the page is saved, it will um, take me to the, the the top the the wiki page that I just created. Mm, but if the the entry has already existed, then it will show an error that I cannot create duplicated uh, entry. The next one is the edit page. So on each entry page, the user will be able to click a link to be taken to a page where the user can edit that entry's markdown content in the text area. Um, So after my edit is done, I can click a button to save the changes I made to the entry. Once the entry is saved, I will be redirected back to the entries page. And I see my changes are already updated. The next function is the random page. When I click on the random page in the sidebar, will take me to a random encyclopedia entry. The last one is markdown to HTML conversion. So on each entries page, so the any markdown content in the entry file will be converted to the HTML format, as you can see on the page here. So that's all for the CS50 uh, web programming project one.